and there it was just uh, setting up for our players just to making sure that uh, everything is uh, is in place all right we have a ready from the day if it is now time for our main event let's do it folks Four people voting for Dave Energy. Uh, six people voting for Dimwit. Dar is putting down 28,000 channel points uh, <laughs> on Dimwit. Main Coup get with 2,200. Uh, that would pay off at 18.6 times if you're right, uh, Main Coup Cat. But let's see it here as uh, we have already a misplay from Dimwit. Uh, and it looks like garbage for both players. A slight lead uh, to Dimwit, but here comes the pain. Uh, as Dimwit gets a big, big uh, cluster combo to uh, start off round number eight here. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, Dimwit might get some some misplays, but he knows how to get uh, rid of them very quickly. So that's uh, that's the strength of Dimwit. Absolutely. Although Dimwit looks to just be struggling with RNG. Uh, not a lot of good plays available to him. Uh, does get a drop clear and and seems to be cleaning things up, but that that spire in uh, six and seven that seems to be the biggest pain point, and it's given D Dave a sizable lead early against the three seed. Yeah, that's Dave just gets their uh, lightning bolt, and uh, I'm sure that the chat is already noticing it. Oh, I'm sure. Uh... Oh, Tim, what really struggling on this level eight? I mean. Everything is kind of scattered, and uh, well, it was difficult to reach until now that some things are getting cleared up. Yeah, it does look like Dimwit has recovered from uh, just that really, really uh, questionable start. Uh, but Dave's Dave's maintaining pace here. He's going to get a drop triple. He's down to four. He's back into a big lead over the, the, the three seed as he's just looking for blues and yellows and uh not playing horizontally on that yellow he's had an opportunity to do that and has elected not to okay and then with i think making things a little tougher on that uh, red virus there yeah he's going to need to drop uh, those reds uh but it looks like that uh dave oh. both players out at exactly the same time <laughs> I mean, how much closer do you want it for <laughs> our main event? In our first game here, uh, it is 36 to 35. The Dave really just trying to, uh, he's just making smart, strong plays, not trying to go for anything too fancy. Uh, both players also playing on high speed. So uh, we're seeing players play, you know, big risks, uh, big rewards here. Uh, it's still just a very slight lead to Dimwit, as uh, it doesn't seem that Dimwit's not getting any big combos going. Uh, and now it's uh, 26 to 24, as uh, Dave just trying to maintain pace here, and it seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, he just went in for a blue, so everything just drops. There we go. Okay, and uh, Dave is opening a, a little bit more of uh, of his board. Uh, Nate's not really blue right now, mostly red and yellow. While Dimwit is uh, making the best out of uh, this uh, this uh, obstacle that Dave has encountered right now. Uh, Dave's still managing to navigate through things pretty smartly, though. Uh, he's not that far away from Dimwit. I mean, if Dave could get a red search right now, it would be just uh, amazing for him. Uh, 11 viruses to go for the Dave, 3 to go for Dimwit, and Dimwit's got to clear him up top, so uh, he is waiting on a drop play. He's going to get it out at 347. Uh, Dave's just struggling with bad RNG. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, red all over the place. That's uh, That's the name of the game right now for Dave. And that red, yeah, the red blue is difficult to decide where to put it. You want to start uh, working on that left side, but uh, then again, you need to you need exactly that appeal to to play on the right side. And apparently, that was the better play to go on the right side as Dave goes out at the four fifteen. The 
we're playing with a bit of a two sides of the board, uh, just everything on the first two columns and on the last two columns. That uh, might take some time if uh, he doesn't get the right bills, or rather if uh, if he doesn't start uh, working with uh, whatever the game wants to give him. And it looks like RNG being very difficult for the Dave. Uh, he has he if there was no garbage on uh, his top line, he'd have access to yellow, but he simply doesn't. So he's trying to be creative. But uh, this is opening up for Dimwit, but Dimwit's board severely split right now, John. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dimwit is going to... Basically, everything is compact in those two columns, so you don't have a lot of choices other than to go from the top down. But Dave, not uh, not getting the right pills either. Uh, lots of yellow, which he doesn't have a lot of access to, and uh, that's slowing things down. He's trying to be as creative as you can be, but... Uh, Again, sometimes uh, creativity and the uh, viruses run out. That blue in uh, column two uh, is probably going to be the most critical to open the board up, but uh, the entire right side is available now for Dave. Uh, but Dim went out at a 554 going into 11, uh, so he's looking for something fast. But uh, w suddenly with a big combo, Dave's board very, very clean. Yeah, it's just that left side which is completely uh, blue and yellow and uh, yeah you're gonna need a lot of help from the rng agreed as uh dave just trying to struggle to get out of 10 here uh he's gonna get this double clear no he doesn't go for the double clear okay uh he's gonna have the double yellow though to get rid of that uh horizontal clear so good move there as we're at the six and a half minute mark dimwit uh, is, has an almost board, as I like to call it. Uh, a lot of things that are one or two uh, plays away from being uh, taken off the board uh, and not a lot of access to red. That may slow him down, uh, but it looks like the Dave going to get into 11 at a time of six minutes and 52 seconds. So he's, he's behind. Uh, he's behind by about 20 viruses, but... Uh, looking at this compact start, everything really close together. If RNG uh, smiles on him, he could really start pouring a comeback. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, doubles that are already set up. You just have to get uh, get to them, get the right pills. As as we've already stated, you need the, the RNG to help you in these games, and uh, yeah, that's sometimes all that uh, that uh, makes the difference between our players. Thirty-six viruses to go for Dave, but it's thirteen to go for Dimwit, as uh, he's very, very close to breaking this board open. Uh, but right now, just making some smart tuck plays, trying to do what he can. Uh, he knows he's up by a handful of viruses, so he doesn't have to get too crazy on his uh, approach here. Meanwhile, the Dave, no access to yellow, yet the game insists on handing him as much yellow as it possibly can. Uh, we're going to see a T clear there, though, and a garbage clear, and suddenly we have a clean board uh, for the Dave. Yeah, Tim with getting slow down there in the last uh, in the last viruses of his board because there wasn't really a, an easy way to get to them. At but an eight, he gets out at 8.25. At an 8.25, which seems to be just absolutely slow, given what else we've seen uh, in this second round. It is a win for Dimwit. Uh, he'll take game number one. I mean, sometimes uh, part of the game is hoping that uh, your opponent also gets one of those uh, slow seats. And uh, I guess uh, at this point, uh, both of our players got uh, some slow seats and uh, it benefited Dimwit. And it looks like we're going to see Dave run this one out. And there we are at a 9 minute 11 second finish. Uh, it is game one to Dimwit here in our main event. And we will have game two for you very, very shortly. As we have a ready from Dimwit.
And the Dave's just going to do a quick reset. Yeah, Dave just uh, taking a little bit of time. You just don't want to plunge into the into the game right away. You want to to make sure that you, that you're ready for it. Uh, okay, as we as we go into our games right now. Here we go, game number two. Uh, Dave needs a win here to stay in it. Uh, if Dimwit wins, he will go to uh, another semifinal. He said he w didn't think he'd be able to do it. Uh, this month, but right now, uh, holding a quick lead of eight viruses uh, over the 11 seated the Dave, the Dave on your right, Dimwit on your left. Uh, these players trying to battle through levels eight through 11 as quickly as they can, uh, and we're going to see a lot of different tactics used here in the second game to get them there. Yeah, Dave currently is still uh, fighting with the viruses very high while dimwit already has everything uh, almost on the on the last two rows uh, except for that spire on columns two and three and a quick clear there uh and now it's uh 11 viruses to go Yeah, they're needing some help, and it seems to be it seemed to be uh, yellow that he needed, but now there's not a lot of places to to go with yellow. I agree. Uh, it looks like he is trying to make do, but uh, it's five viruses to go and a whole bunch of clears, and Dimwit's endgame suddenly very very clean, John. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dimwit knows how to keep uh, the the board clean, or if it isn't clean at the moment, then either use that garbage for something useful, or just uh, clear it very efficiently. As uh, Dimwit is trying to open up this uh, disadvantage right now as much as possible. Yeah, while Dave... They... <sighs> Dave's struggling mightily uh, through level 8 here. Yeah, I think uh, it's blue what uh, he's been lacking altogether. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all he needs really just to open that. Uh, now is the moment for a red-yellow, which of course now is not coming after. I mean, There the... it is, though. <laughs> the piece to uh, clear everything else out, but at a 2 minute 19 second... Really, really rough going for Dave when he's trying to uh, get out of this situation and uh, force a game three. Yeah, it's uh, it's a match point here for uh, Dave. He needs to just uh, get uh, this win in order to continue fighting for for a place at the semifinals. Uh, but Dimwit just playing at a, at a fantastic pace. Uh, already looking to uh, get out of here. Maybe it's sub three. Probably not going to happen. Uh, but we can dream. And uh, right now, uh, Dimwit dreaming about getting out of level nine. Uh, Dave is 17 viruses back. Uh, but a big drop play there by uh, the three seed. And another double clear horizontally. Uh, suddenly, it's 20 virus lead. And um, Dimwit looking to just clear everything out. Uh, that red's gonna have to happen uh, horizontally, which is a bummer with that double red call coming out on his play field. Uh, but he's worked around it out at about 3 minutes and 29 seconds, John, as uh, Dimwit now halfway through this uh, second game. Yeah, this is actually a very, very nice time from Dimwit uh, so far. Uh, yeah, just uh, making sure that uh, Dave cannot catch up, which is definitely what you want to do. Um, I mean, yeah, so far very clean, uh, very clean gameplay from from Dimwit. As uh, Dave now is struggling with uh, with red pills that aren't coming his way. Thirty viruses to go here on ten for Dimwit. Uh, Dave trying to get out of nine. He's got a lot better board than he did on eight. Uh, the chat cheering him on to. Uh, just play as best as he's able to as uh, a vertical clear will uh, now open up the board almost completely. Uh, just a garbage clear. Although I might have used that double blue on the blue virus itself. 
Yeah, I think he's he was uh, eyeing just uh, clearing the, that uh, blue virus uh, horizontally so that the, that red virus would also go horizontally. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of things that uh, he's trying to to play around right now, and uh, it's making things a little slow. And meanwhile, Dumud is already down to nine viruses. Uh, four minutes and fifty-five seconds out at nine uh, for Dave. Uh, this is just a really, really rough going for him. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tim would just uh, blew this open, uh, <coughs> getting a, a favorable board, uh, not, not not anything too crazy, while uh, uh, Dave has just uh, been struggling with uh, with getting the right pills. And uh, Tim went out of 10 at about 5 minutes, 20 seconds. Uh, Tim went just needs to clear out 11 and he's he's clearly in the driver's seat uh barring some uh major play issues uh it looks like this is going to be a game and match to tim wit yeah i mean uh this is uh tim wit to us uh, at this point and uh, we haven't seen really uh, a point where dim wit uh, happens to make something so uh incredibly wrong that uh was uh was give up this advantage so uh, uh as hard as it might be this might be already uh already called twenty six viruses to go for the three seed nineteen to go for dave a great l clear there uh really just trying to make as big plays as he possibly can. Again, having to go creative because there's no no yellow on the board anymore, save for the one virus, which is almost completely set up. Dave just fighting not to get lapped here, uh, down to 10 viruses. Now down to 9, now down to 7. Dave making some really good combos late here, really trying to make something of this. <coughs> yeah, me. not 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 giving up because you don't uh, you don't give up in this game until uh, you see that uh, the other player has uh, stopped the timer. Absolutely, uh, it's six viruses to go for Dimwit now. Dimwit very close to lapping Dave Smith. They're tied at this point, and that was a questionable play from Dave Smith. I would have kept that open for horizontal clear, but. It, it may not matter here as Dimwit looking to put just formulate a drop combo. And uh, there it is. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Uh, Dimwit, your winner uh, as Dave gets out right near the same time out of 10. Uh, but the winner and uh, going on to face Watchma in the semifinals tomorrow is Dimwit. Two games to none over the Dave. Uh, we're just going to make that official right now. And taking a look at your uh, brackets. Uh, here's how things are shaping up now. Uh, we have uh, one and four, Leviticus versus Packy, and three and ten, Dimwit versus Watchma. Uh, two epic battles are going to happen. Uh, two players are going to go to the finals. One of them is going to win. That's all going to happen tomorrow. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please uh, you can support us best by uh, following, subscribing, slogging through our commercials. Uh, helps add a little bit money into uh, DRMC's pockets so we can fund better prizes and uh, fund uh, better equipment for our live events, which again, uh, don't want to get into too much details, but we are hoping to have a live versus event in 2021. Uh, more details on that as they come, but uh, that is your bracket right now. Uh uh, Leviticus versus Packy and Watchma versus Dimwit. Uh, we'll just throw that up on the screen one last time for you. And there it is. Uh, and that's all we got for you today. I want to thank Dimwit, uh, Savage Octagon, John Nashforth uh, for coming in here and helping me out on commentary. Uh, Benji, as always, for uh, providing uh, just stellar graphics and a presentation for y'all. And uh, thank thanks to all of you all of our and all of our players as well as uh, we can't do this without you. My name is JB Henry. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, if you like what you see, follow, subscribe, 
all the stuff they say at the end of these videos. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, 2 p.m. here for Semi-Final Sunday. Uh, until then, remember, be safe, be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.